Hey everyone, it's Sarah from Rhythm School with the solution to the eight coin problem. So this problem states that you have eight coins and one of them is counterfeit. And you can tell that it's counterfeit because it's lighter than all the others. So the only method that you have to check to see which one is counterfeit is with a balance scale. So that's the kind of scale that has two trays. And if you have equal amounts of weight on both sides, it is equal. And if one is heavier, then it'll tilt one way or the other. So the classic approach to this problem that most people take is to divide things in half. So they'll take their eight coins and they'll put four into this tray and four into this tray. And this method, um, you can get to the counterfeit coin in three weighings, which is pretty good. So you do four on the side, four on the side, weigh them if they're equal, well, they can't be equal because one's counterfeit, right? So you see which way it tilts. If it tilts this way, then this one is lighter. So that means the counterfeit coin is in this group. So then you divide this in half again and you weigh it and the lighter coins over here this time. So you know that those are real. So you divide this in half again and you see which side is lighter. Well, now it's this one. So now you found your counterfeit in three moves. There is, however, a way to do this in just two moves. So here's how you do it. So to get to the answer in two moves, instead of putting four and four in each hand, you're going to put three. Well, I say hand because I'm mimicking a balance scale, but you would put three and three in each tray and you would weigh those two. So now there's two possibilities. One is that they're going to be equal because you have six real coins. So if they are equal, then you have one scenario. If one is heavier or lighter, then you have another scenario. So let's talk about the equal scenario first. So if they're equal, then obviously those are all real. So you know that the fake one is in one of the two that you didn't weigh. You weigh that, that one's lighter, and you found your counterfeit in two moves. If you go back to your six and they are unequal, well, then you know that the counterfeit one has to be on the lighter side. So now you're going to do the same thing where you take one out, you don't weigh it, you only weigh the other two, and now we're back to the same situation where are they equal or is one heavier or lighter? So if they're equal, you know it's the one that you didn't weigh, that one. And if they are unequal, then you know that your counterfeit is the lighter one. So let me know what you thought about that solution in the comments. That's a really tricky problem. Um, it's, it's hard to get to, uh, to, to the two, but if you did, congratulations. If you thought it was three, also not usually a bad approach because dividing things in half is usually a pretty good algorithmic move. Um, that's it. <laughs> if you liked that kind of uh, puzzle, you, it came from a book called Algorithmic Puzzles, which is a Rhythm School favorite. Um, and you can pick up an electronic copy or the actual copy. One of the things that's great about that book is that they don't give you the answer right away. You can look up a hint. So you'll see, like, for example, for this one, they'll be like, ah, the hint is that, you know, the answer is two. And then you go, how is it two? And you spend a day or two thinking about how it could possibly be two. And hopefully you eventually get there. And if you don't, then you can look at the answer and they give a really great and in-depth explanation as to the algorithmic thinking behind that answer. And they'll also give you in the book, there's another explanation of another way that you could get there in just two moves, um, which is super fascinating. So we recommend you check out that book. So that's it for today. I hope you all enjoyed that. We'll see you next time.